Hi again everyone, it's Steve from SK Astro and this is a bit of an update that my, about my observatory and the way I've got to set it up at this moment in time. So from my previous video um, I gave a bit of a, uh, an update about what the actual observatory was like and how it was built. Um, just stepping out a little bit with the roof rolled off at this moment in time and I've also removed a tree that used to be up there you recall in my previous video there was a, a tree there that's a new summer house there and again I've still got the same old issues of um, houses and everything surrounding the horizon but as I said before there's one of those kinds of things you just got to get on with but the purpose of this video is to actually look specifically at what I've got in the observatory itself so I'm running a Mesu 200 mount and I've been running that for about about four years now. And then I run a Tech 140 telescope, which is a 140 millimeter refractor. I often couple that with this particular um, uh, camera, which is an, an, an Etic 460 with a EFW electronic filter wheel that's got astronom filters in there as well. I always put finder scopes or well, not finder scope, a red dot finder on this as well. And then I've got a FSQ85 with the reducer, which you can see there, and a G2 8300 CCD camera. Again, there are Astrodon 31 millimeter filters in there. And on top of the scope, I've got my plethora of USB connections that you can see there and my power distribution box um, and on the other side just quickly moving around I've got my C925 Schmidt Cassie grain telescope and I use this form for planetary and some visual as well so this these two here are predominantly for astrophotography although I do use the Tech 140 for um, observations visual observations as well but again both of these predominantly are used for my um, astrophotography and this scope I tend to use for visual and planetary and lunar a bit dirty on there you can see it but we don't clean unless we absolutely have to and it all works really really well so this setup I've got a total of obviously three scopes on here um, and it works well for me um, I don't really have any requirement to get anything else I do some DSLR astrophotography as well just with a, 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 um, a Canon 1100D over there and I also do some um, solar photography as well astrophotography with that mount there my solar scope is put away at the moment because as you can see with the sun over there it's too low in the UK in mid January but it works really well for me I'm really happy with it um, again I've got my computer here which connects up right to this cable here which in turn controls the whole lot of stuff on top of the, on the mount top and I could get things like a Pegasus power block and other things but I've done it the cheap way this is a superb metallic kind of um, USB 2 hub it's no good for planetary for planetary what I do is I use my um, high-speed cameras here and I connect directly to that PC down there with a USB 3 cable um, again with the um, SCT that I use for planetary and some visual I've got a Telrad on that in case because um, it just makes everything so much easier to find at night time to get that initial slew sorted out but for me this setup's really nice and it works really well and I've had this like this now for probably about three and a half three years two no about two years actually two years um, on the previous video I had another SC2 scope I had a Mead 14 inch uh, telescope but I saw it end up selling in that because um, I wasn't using it enough in the skies I've got here I live in like Bortle 4 5 skies and I was not getting any improvement over what I can get with a, a C925 so it, it, that, that, that scope is more than enough for my skies yet if I lived somewhere where there's really really dark skies then it would be worth maybe upgrading that to something else like a 14 inch but where I live it's not worth it um, and it works really well for me as I said so 
that's just a little bit of an update about what I'm running at this moment in time and I think what I'll probably do now um, is do more YouTube videos again I've just been a bit busy lately I've had a lot to do and making YouTube videos wasn't one of my number one priorities you know life gets in the way but I'd like to um, I'd like to do a bit more of it so hope you found that useful and I'll speak to you on my next one bye for now